should say something about the exhibition. Yeah. Yeah. So, this, no. so I'm also Vaughan Su, friend of Diane's. Uh, this is uh, uh, the, the beginning of a research project by Stephanie Jemison. It's called The Old and the New, and it refers to two things, the Old and the New Testament, and uh, a project Stephanie's been working on for a long time called Plant You Now, Dig You Later, which comes from the writings of Louis Armstrong, the uh, American jazz musician. So in this work, she's looking at the idea of African-American vernacular cultures and what it means to create a universal language. So Stephanie Jennison started with the writings of outsider artist James Hempton and took fragments from his diary. Uh, he was neither educated in art nor received, nor did he receive a formal education. So he made all of these notes in his books that were indecipherable, that looked like language, but were uh, yeah, completely, uh, completely uh, indecipherable to a, to a, to a, to a, to a, to a normal uh, audience, to a public audience. So Stephanie took this language and, and sh changed uh, the language into a kind of abstract form that became a kind of a form of painting, form of abstract painting that she then applies to this kind of faux velvet uh, fabric which is found across um, American domestic settings, particularly in black religious homes and in African American churches. So this is part one of the exhibition Census Plenior, and Census Plenior is all about the idea of fuller meaning. So what does it mean to live in a world without language? How does language anchor the way we, we, we um, internalize and understand the world around us? Uh, but how does mime, as you're going to see down, downstairs in the, in the, uh, in the video, uh, become an extended form of interpretation to explain um, one's relationship not only to God, but to a kind of universal spirituality? This is a step in the